Nick from Christian Source is going to talk about a couple of our favorite beats that we fish at the shop, put out by a company called Band of Anglers. They're, they're two mean soft plastics we use, are the, the Minwild Paddle Tails. It's the four inch. It's a 2.75, I believe. Uh, and the Dart Spins, uh, these are the seven inchers. This is a four and a half, but the Dart Spins come in two and a half to seven inch sizes. Uh, they have the Dart Spin Pros come on the wide gap hooks like this. Uh, I'm gonna kind of show you how that how that gets rigged up and how that works. It's really easy with these these pre molded slots they have in these baits. They're TPE material, uh, hyper elastics they call them, super durable. Uh, and for 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 a very durable bait, these Minwild paddle tails they have a lot of action. They have a lot of thump and a good swim to them like that, um, which is rare for. The stiffer soft plastics out there. Um, I, no lie, I have baits like this here on the one ounce. This bait's probably seen fifty fish. I think I think I have baits that have seen a hundred fish. Uh, w- once you glue them, you might have to re-glue it once or twice, but the bait's gonna last. Even bluefish. Um, I've I've got dart spins. I've caught twenty bluefish on. As long as they're not real small bluefish where they nip at the tail, they hold up. They get sliced, they get nicked, but they, they don't break on the, for a while, even with a fish, like a bluefish with gnarly teeth. Um, but let's go through some of this stuff. This one comes like this. This is Dark Spin Pro. Wow. Comes single, a single bait in a pack. Um, I'll just pop it off. But all, the, all these baits have pre molded slots. There's a hole in, in the nose, there's a hole in the chin. There's a slot all through here. Okay. And there's a slot where they want this this wide gap hook to come out. The other way, the boat or from land where we are, deeper water. This is just taking and putting it on a jig head. This is a uh, gambler. I think they're 3X or 4X. Gambler, gambler trophies jig head. We have it at the shop. Um, we've been fishing these for a long time. I really like them. They have really strong, really sharp hook. You can see this one's got a little, a little mileage on it, but again, same thing. There's a hole they give you from the top. You just come down to that slot, push it through. Then take some glue. I like to put it up here. I like to put it on the barb or on the shank of the barb, whatever you want to call it. And now I'm just going to push from, kind of from the bottom, push straight up. Give it a little turn, let that glue get in there. Push it up again. And you have a bee for a long time. Uh, the reason why you need the glue is because this material is so stretchy. Sometimes it doesn't grab certain barbs, or certain jig heads. Um, a lot of people have negative things to say about the glue, but it takes two seconds to just glue it on there. And the, and the thing about it is, is I can rig up an ounce, an ounce and a half, two ounces, three ounces in each color. And I pretty much have them for, you know, basically the season. Um, and that's pretty valuable. You can't put these with other plastics. You can't take this and put it with a regular soft plastic. It'll melt. It'll have a chemical reaction. Like I said, these are really good bunker imitators. I mean, they're seven inches. They're not humongous, but if you look at it from the bottom, like a fish will, it's a, it's a big profile. We like to, we snap jig these a lot in the boat, get reaction bites. Um, and then these, you're fishing shallower water. If you're fishing the bay shore, some of the shallower spots in the rivers, you can just kind of slow roll this and twitch it and pulse it. And uh, it works really well. The four inch minwell, glass minnow color. It's a half ounce Z-Man uh, or TT Lures headlocks. Really, really good jig head. Um, they make a lot of different, they make a lot of different hook sizes in each weight. So I think half ounce, they have four out of eight out maybe. 
something like that. But they, they have a lot of options. <laughs> um, so I use these, as you can see, these ones back here that are rigged up. Same, same jig head, one ounce. Um, but again, really simple. Come in the nose right here. Take it out that slot, push it up a little bit. Take some glue, put it on that barb, push it right up. And that's all she wrote. What's cool about these is the slot that's in here. When you have a fish on, the bait pulls away from the hook. So it doesn't put much stress on the bait. And you don't have anything really interfering with where the fish is hooked. And because they're stretchy, they don't break. So that's a nice factor. You get a, I noticed that I hook a lot of fish in the corner of the mouth with these. It's a four inch minwell, uh, clear gold color. I like gold. A lot of people don't fish a lot of gold, but I do, especially when it's colder in the spring. But I don't know why I just do. It seems to work. It's the wide gap hook comes with the minwell and the minwell pro. It's like a pro pack. They call it. You have the little slot, the little pre-molded slot right there. Put the hook eye. Bring your hook around. You got to find the slot, but once you do, it's money. This is going to fall a lot more flat or parallel or horizontally. It's going to fall like this. Whereas the ones rigged on jig heads are going to be more of a jigging action, more vertical jigging, more of a vertical fall. This hook is going to fall a little bit more like that. But obviously, unless you can find hooks like this that have a lot of weight, these are for shallow water. A bait that would probably be popular in fresh water. You know, I do a lot of light tackle saltwater fishing too, but or is the Minwow 275 on a quarter ounce. I'm going to Carolina soon, so I'm going to be fishing these. I'll show you. I, I kind of popped the eyes off because this already has eyes. I'm just weird like that. Sometimes you go with the double eyes, sometimes not. Same, same deal. Come through the slot. Push it up a little bit. Not all the way. Take your glue. Push it up. Do a little wiggle. Stripers, feeding on a small bait. Well, this will be a great bait. Red fish in Carolina where I'm going. It's going to be a great bait. Nice small presentation. A quarter ounce. Third spin. Uh, 4.5. 4 Same thing. Quarter ounce. Right in that nose. Pre mold it all out the slot. Let it dry. And you have a bait that's going to literally probably could catch 100 fish with maybe one or two re glues. Between these, the seven inch dark fins, the four inch minwows, I'll just show a couple. This is a five and a half inch dark spin. More seven inch dark fins. You get it, you get colors you like. And you rig them up on two, three, four different weights, and you're kind of good to go. It's a system. Again, that slot pulls that pulls that bait away from the the the, the fish being hooked. You get really good hookups. Um, you have a system for all different types of saltwater fishing with artificials, all different sizes, all different, a couple different profiles, and baits that last. I mean, a hundred fish. Keep saying it. It's kind of invaluable. Uh, one other thing I like to do. Uh, people, a lot of people think this is not necessary, but in the summertime and certain times when it's real cold, I'm using stuff like that, or even sometimes something like this. Uh, I'll, I'll put some of this Procure inshore salt water on. I'm not going to squeeze it because it's going to make a mess, but it's kind of cool. They have all these slots, so I just take it, put it in there, squeeze, 
and put a little put a nice goblet in there. It stays on there pretty long. Or in here, I'll put it in there. Doesn't make a difference all the time, but when it does, it does. Uh, and we all know the importance of that.